Hey gamers, welcome back to another episode of RimWorld. We are back in Husky Town, where we have to build a throne for Valentine here. I've got him currently bandaging up Stuart from the last fight with, uh, when we were protecting the Empire over here. But, so, today I'm gonna start working on the building of Valentine a throne room, so I'm gonna do that. I'll do a time lapse and you guys will be able to see what that looks like, and then we'll have them start working on it. Uh, I'll see you guys back in a minute. Okay, so this is what the throne room is going to look like. Um, once the walls and everything get built, I'm going to add some wooden chairs along all these tables and uh, going to fill the whole thing in with granite uh, tile or whatever. Just like this, yeah. It'll be granite tile all in here. And then once we research carpets, I'm going to do like a red carpet like right down the middle up to the throne. And then I got these two braziers here uh, that have nice little cool fires right next to the throne. So I think that'll look cool, but yeah, that's what they're working on now. And the Empire left us a gift of some Glitter World medicine, so that's nice of them. And they're still working on finishing up some of these bedrooms, and then that's all we got pretty much going on. And hopefully we should have Janaz soon. And I got Marindil uh, making us the blocks for, their, for the throne room now. We got Mad Boom Rat, Boom Boom Rat, coming to get us, gone mad. There you go, there's nobody over there. Oh, what the heck? When did that get destroyed? I'm glad you pointed that out to me before some raiders did, but I didn't know that wall had gotten destroyed. Make Valentine prioritize repairing that. Uh, everybody in YouTube should be able to handle this boom rat. Well, that ended very violently. I was trying not to get y'all burned by it, but I managed to shoot it right in the face. Sorry as it was going past you. I let it get a little too close to Grant there. Put Grant out with one burn on his leg, on her leg to be okay. Get her tended to. And Valentine go treat Grant. Then I need you to do construction. Okay, well then I'll get Shen to finish building or at least build this wall. So we don't have to worry about anything else sneaking in the back. Any other wall damage over here, right? Yeah, everything else looks okay. I need to get some more wood though. Okay, we're out of wood. Won't let me build anything with wood. Got all these trees since they're gonna be in the way anyway. Now I'm so we're trying to get Janaz recruited again. Hey, and we got Janaz finally joined. We have an imp on our side now. He's really good at fighting too. She is, my bad. But uh, yeah, so now we have six colonists. Colonies come along quite nicely. Can I select the bed, please? Thank you. And Valentine's going back to doing some mining. We discovered a little bit more steel back here. We do need steel as well for some things. And I've got them just bringing uh, Marindil some granite over here for him to make blocks out of. He doesn't have to go anywhere. He can just keep making them as he goes. Hopefully then soon that means Shen will start uh, building the throne room up. I'm going to tend to the animals because they're getting frostbite too. We might just lose them. They're not getting any food out here. I don't really like the idea of them feeding all of our food to their animals and using up all our medicine so keeping frostbite every other minute. Yeah, we're just gonna. Sorry, but these animals are not getting tended to like this. This is ridiculous. Can't keep wasting all our medicine on them. 
Tots don't want you wasting your time out here trying to treat their frostbite. Yeah, he just lost his ear of frostbite. More area revealed back here. Afraid the piggies are probably gonna have to go. Cow seems to be fine in this weather. This has malnutrition, but apparently it can withstand this cold temperature. temperature is 14 meanwhile the pigs minimum comfortable temperature is only 23 so yeah the cows are a lot more okay with the cold so it looks like the pigs are gonna have to go and we're gonna have to look for another female cow for our livestock clan you know, hopefully level up this construction really fast in there too. He's about to be level 12. Oh, 30 XP short. We're gonna have six granite tables. We're gonna have dining chairs lying all the way down. We're gonna have a nice red carpet down the middle. I don't know why anyone's not doing any plank cutting. Well, I guess Shen's doing the construction, but... Stuart, what are you doing during the day? And night, rather, since apparently you're a night person. Cleaning? No, that's not what I need you to do. No, I need you to do cleaning second and do plant cutting first. That's what I need you to do. Thank you. I'll let them finish all these other wooden projects we have around the base before I... Put a little chairs down over here. Now Shen's level 12. Probably be level 13 by the time the throne room gets complete. Oh, definitely. And he's happy while he's doing construction too because it's a passion for him. So that keeps his mood really high. has a weapon. Uh, I guess you can have the normal machine pistol. That works. And the cow's starving over here. But I think it'll be okay. Everybody also kind of needs to make some more warmer clothes. more dusters and stuff. Some hats. And a few shirts. Everybody should be okay. I'm not quite sure what it is that they need. Um, he's got a shirt, pants, and a duster. He says Grant is okay though with a leather button down, a parka. I guess a parka is warm, keeps them warm. That's literally the only difference. Uh, it's a leather button down. I don't know if that changes what the temperature durability is. So she's comfortable all the way down to 19. I think Shen's only comfortable with 23. With his high in the dust there is a lot better. Yeah, it's probably the parka's better for the cold. And the duster's better for heat. Don't really have anything else to sell them though. I'm probably just gonna have to pass on it for right now. Nothing that they want to buy anyway. They got plenty of stuff. There's just nothing they're interested in. Okay, well, I'll take 33 silver for the go juice that we don't want, so. Guess that works out. Hopefully, we won't freeze to death during the solar flare. Hey, Shin's finally getting the outside wall built. Kinda. Well, that was a fast solar flare. Things are already over. Yeah, he's gonna build the rest of it, too. 
Right now nobody else will destroy these coolers out here. Hopefully. Anyway. Oh uh, yeah, we got this huge steel vein over here too. But uh, yeah, it's been a pretty long video, so I think I'm gonna cut this one here. Uh, we started working on the throne room for Valentine. It's going to be a long project though, but um, I think it'll be really cool once we get it done. And uh, got another winter upon us, so we're just going to have to keep hunting, I guess, and keeping stocked up on food. We got plenty of food for right now, but uh, started working on making some more clothes to keep our colonists warm. Got traders coming through. Got most of these bedrooms mostly finished. And they got a heater over here, so they'll be nice and warm. So, uh, yeah, the colony's doing pretty good. Our wealth's getting up there, but hopefully we'll be able to protect ourselves and keep growing Husky Town. Uh, we got a imp now on our side. It's just interesting, seeing how this uh, colony began with the imps attacking that one colonist that wanted to join us. But... Now this is where we are, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, remember to like and subscribe. Comment down below how you felt. Uh, I hope I'd love to interact with you guys. Um, I enjoy reading y'all's comments, so leave a comment. Let me know how your day is going if you watched the video this far. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Well, I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.